Oh, that look in your eyes. So you found yourself a sail, hadn't you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hole and press A to climb aboard. Push the sail you got with A to get moving. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. That uh, forward direction that appears behind me indicates wind direction. Use left stick to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press B to put the sail away. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Yes. Oh, one more thing. When we're out to sea with few landmarks to go by, we'll be at the mercy of the sea chart. I have marked the place we should currently be heading on the sea chart. <clears throat> if you get lost at sea, select map displayed on the Wii U gamepad to open your sea chart. You can also pause the game to pause and confirm your position. Now a waterly wind blows, hop in and let it carry us to the east. Okay. It's our first time sailing. And it looks like we have to go this way. Goodbye, Windfall! I believe that was the island. <laughs> oh yeah, we can't get any treasure yet. Not that I'm going to be getting much anyway, but I don't have uh, the contraption to pull any treasure out of the sea, so... Most of that is just going to be sitting there. At least for now. Green Ruby. What is that noise? I don't know what that noise noise is, it's pretty annoying. Is that beetle ship right in front of us? <laughs> I know you do eventually get a song to change like the way the wind works. Sounds like bad birds. <laughs> All right. They are on the horizon. That is our destination down on my Dragon Roost Island. Those birds are so annoying. Why am I hearing them so much? High atop the silence peak lives the spirit of the skies. A great dragon by the name of Baloo. Let's go see this dragon and request for him a jewel full of Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. That is so annoying and I hope it stops. Almost forgot, wait a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music and prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Oh my god, that bird, shut up. Even so, I thought it would be some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, conduct it three, four times. Do not touch L. Just try to match the rhythm by tilting up, down, right. Very nice. That was splendid. Next is four, four time. Hold L to change the rhythm, then match with the right step. Oh. I guess it didn't work. Hold on. Up, right, left, down. There we go. Got it that time. That's it, Dino Mike. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. Also, you can conduct with the 6 4 time by tilting it right. You do well to remember that. You received the legendary Wind Waker. By using this mag magical conductor's baton, you have control over stuff. I don't know what it said. Don't. <laughs> To get up the three fourth time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I assume eventually I'll be using the power of that. I 
I don't know if I'm still supposed to be hearing those birds or that's a glitch or something, but... This appears to be markings that indicate specific directions. Up, left, right. Can we try that? Well, I guess I gotta set my ocarina to something, right? Or the Wind Waker, I mean. Oh, it's a uh, D-pad up. Up, left, right. You learn the wind's requiem. And that changes the direction of the wind. Pretty cool. So I needed that ability, obviously. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. The name's Zephos, I'm the god of the winds. So you're new to Wind Waker, are ya? Great, great, for a beginner, you've got nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. Uh, that tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. If you want an example of being a bad thing, then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother, Cyclos, is miffed about his monument here being broken. And now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people here. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. <laughs> so cool. Oh my god, the birds! I can't even shoot them with anything. I have no way to stop that annoying noise, sadly. There's... Legitimately nothing I can do about that. Oh, okay, so I gotta probably use bombs here. What's that sign say? Danger, do not attack the explosive fruit. <laughs> I can throw it. Not knowing if that's normal is kind of funny, I can't lie. Bro. Lots of rupees being dropped here, too. Oh. I don't know what that means. Probably something I need a different item for. <laughs> Can I just throw this up here? I don't think so. Oh, I see. I probably can't hit those bombs yet. I don't think I have the right item for that. But at least I'm getting all these rupees. Not gonna complain when all these rupees are right here. Go, Link. Come on, move. <laughs> I don't know why he stopped moving. He stopped moving for some reason. I wonder if it's where I have my left stick. That's probably all it is. Odd, though. I don't want to fall, either. No! Alright, I gotta fall here, though. No! Climb back up. How do I get back up? There we go. Okay, I did it. There's a post box here, too. Good morning! Welcome to the Island Postal Service! What do you have for delivery? <laughs> I have not, to. That a mic? That a mic, is that you? It is, I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? I don't know where she is. Mm, is that so? Well, don't worry too much, I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Dino Mike, would you like to meet our chief? I've told many people here about you, and all the reader are very concerned. Certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you an aid of our errand. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, and I'm like, I'll be waiting. Well, he seems friendly, at least. Those birds, man. Nothing in these pots? That's a 
let's go in. See what's uh, going on. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Ah, so you are Dynamite, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so, the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Falu on Dragon Roost. Falu, Falu, not Falu. <laughs> they will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Dynamike with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Dynamike is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. Shut up. <laughs> that may be. <laughs> Dude, look at their noses. It's pretty cool. They got like big beaks. Let me be direct, my son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings. Oh, my son Kamali is of age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he must just give up on ever getting them. He may just give up. What say you? Will you share some of our courage with my son? Your courage. Will you meet with my son? I don't know why I can't read right now. I'm just skipping over words. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish to give you to my son. Something for you to give my son. A young girl named Medley is holding on to it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Sorry, I can't speak. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> Here, Dynamite, take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. So we have to help out uh, his son... And this girl, Medley, apparently has something for us to help him out. Uh, you got a delivery bag. Finally crafted bags like this are used by retail postmen everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Select it on the item screen and press Y, X, or R to see what you have inside. You should find Medley in one of these upper rooms. Look, leave the great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Uh, they have wings. They can fly. That's so cool. Fortunately, Link cannot do that. So I'm trying to remember what I have to do. I think I have to go visit the prince. I think that's him. He's got a nice glowing ball. Looks like a Dragon Ball. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? What do you want from me, huh? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. So I probably need something that he'll recognize. So my guess is I gotta go talk to that uh, girl, Medley, wherever she is. I assume she'll probably be upstairs. Oh, I remember the sorting game. Maybe I should give it a go. Did they let me do it? Well, now, I've not seen your funk face before. Nope. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to her posting for some part-time help, would you? Yes, I am. Oh, excellent! That's good, but first, to see if I can use you or not, I need to give you a little test. Just a small one. Match the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf. And throw the letter onto the shelf. Real easy. Simple. Use left stick to select a shelf, per se, to throw a letter. Is that clear? Oh, I'm gonna be terrible at this. No, I made a mistake. Oh, that was a 
mistake. Hey, I got 20. Very nice. 20 letters. Great, good, terrific. You pass. Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters. So that comes to a grand total of 10. Come back anytime. So I don't remember what amount I have to get. I think it's 25. 20 or more letters. 20 or more letters, not letters. God, my brain is shot right now. Now that I know what I'm doing, I should do a little bit better. A little bit better, but not a ton better. I'm already making tons of mistakes. No. Twenty-five. Killed it. It's twenty-five letters. Splendid. Super. Hmm. Your salary this time is one rupee per letter, so I need to pay you twenty-five rupees. All right. So I don't know if I have to hit a certain number to get like a heart piece or something, but that's okay. Like I said before, I I'm gonna get some heart pieces, but I'm not gonna get them all. And at the end of the day, that was really good. You probably need thirty for the heart piece. You know what? I'll give it one more go and seriously try my best. Why not? Nope, I already made a huge mistake. Alright, never mind. This is a fail. I can't believe I messed up that fast. Oh, you can use the D-pad. That's much easier than whatever I was doing before. So I'm gonna try this one more time with the D-pad. I'll probably absolutely kill it. I didn't think you could use the D-pad, that's much easier. I still got 20 and I messed up, so... Yeah, let's try again. Also, this is an easy way to get some rupees, right? No, made a mistake. I didn't get as lucky with this one. Twenty six. <laughs> Oh, you looked like the chief to I'm sorry, I didn't read the text. I was like, woof. I've heard a lot about you. Yes, I sure have, but you've had a rough time. I feel bad making you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helpers just arrived. Maybe you can give them some advice the next time you come by. Oh, so it looks like I've earned as much rupees as they'll allow me to. That's what that little talk was about. Sorry I didn't read that to you guys. Oh my god, the birds. So annoying. Every year the Rito sponsor a Birdman contest on the island off to the east. I wonder if we'll have one this year. What with the current situation on the island, no time to waste. Everyone's so busy with the great Valu that we're running short of delivery personnel. Ah oh, well, back to work. I think I did pretty well with the letter letter job if I do say so myself. Oh, I think this is her. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Dino Mike, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking here? This is from the chieftain. Dino Mike, he wants you to give this directly to the prince. What is it? You accepted father's letter. It is a letter from a father addressed to his son. Since you just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? When you want to take it out, choose your delivery bag in the item screen and set this letter to Y, X, or whatever. The room way back on the first floor is his room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet him, please don't get offended by his manners. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, I have a small favor I'd like to ask you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Explain. Explain. I get so nervous when I'm doing these series. I don't know why, guys. Like, usually I'm good at talking, but... 
I'm like tripping over my words in this one. I think it's just because there's a lot of dialogue. And I just, you know, I'm trying to get through it so you guys can enjoy me playing the actual game. But sometimes it can definitely be a bit overwhelming. I'm definitely not going to lie. What do you want from me, huh? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Oh, that's right. I got to set it. So I got to go, as you guys can see on the screen. Use that. Hit the letter. Let's drag it to X. So I put it on X, so now I should be able to go up to him and push X. A letter from my father. My father. Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go to get a scale from Baloo. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Baloo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm him down? That's a big fat lie. It's easy to say you could do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles of Dragon Roost to get to Baloo, then I'll listen to anything you say. Well, obviously, I know someone who could probably help me a little bit. That lady with the wings. <laughs> Maybe that's what she meant by, hey, meet me by Dragon Roost or whatever, the entrance. So I'm gonna assume the entrance is back up the stairs. Yeah, she's not here anymore either, if you guys noticed. Oh wow, what was that? Oh, she's down there. Okay, so maybe the entrance is downstairs. I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just take a look down there. Dragon Roost Pond is completely dried up. And it's also loud and making loud noises. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. Alright, so the cavern must be this way. And I think I saw Medley down there. Oh, everything's dried up 100%. There she is. Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a beautiful spring. Then the great fellow who became so angry in his rage, he shook the mountain and his boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You could see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me. How is Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great fellow's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave, and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Baloo. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I had possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Madam, I'm like, sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost. That ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Yeah. Whew, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up, uh, then face the ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Okay, so I gotta wait till the wind goes this way. There we go. Oh, she didn't make it. I'm fine. That didn't really hurt. What was I saying? Oh yeah, once more. With the wind. Toss away, please. Alright, so I'm guessing I gotta throw her from a little bit farther back, maybe up here. Go. She got there, cool. We did it. Oh, thank you! I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Falu. Don't worry, I'll be okay. I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Falu's language. Not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Do, 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 do. I got an empty bottle. Good, I'm getting all these items. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roots. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Why is the water so loud? Getting definitely some interesting 
glitches with sound. Well, see, now it's not super loud. I guess I can move my bottle, though. Good, now I have my bottle. <laughs> Although, did that really do anything? I guess I can grab some water. Oh, I just put that. You filled your bottle with water. Try pouring on something that looks dry and withered. Oh, that's what I need to do. I get it now. I think. I think I get it. How do I get back up? Okay, I'm a Oh, oh, never mind. Right here. All right, let's use the bottle of water now. What a throw, man. My throws have been amazing. Perfect throws. Alright, we can get over now. Very cool. We can chase her. Might as well. Oh. Probably gotta throw these bombs in there. There's one. Oh, those throws. Oh, never mind. I missed. I was like, oh, two in a row. I'm the best. And then I realized I missed. I missed again. Huh. How do I make sure I get that in? This looks easier than I guess it actually is. Maybe I have to throw it from over here. There we go. That was a good throw. Second, second or fifth or eighth or tenth tries the charm there. We did it. Took a few tries, you know.